Hey guys, Dave here for Dave's Exotic Foods, and today we are going to cook and eat something very rare, something very exotic, and something very controversial. That's right, folks, I am talking about lion meat. This is lion meat, a pound of ground lion meat, fully defrosted, ready to cook, ready to eat. We are going to check this out today. Uh, this is the rarest of the rarest. Uh, you probably couldn't get more exotic uh, and definitely controversial than this. Lions, actually, believe it or not, folks, are not an endangered species. They are, however, a threatened species, which, you know, leads to the big debate, should we be able to harvest and sell lion meat? Should we, should we be able to eat it? A lot of people, of course, will say no. Um, a lot of people will say yes still, you know, it's, uh, it's, a, very, it's a very interesting kind of controversial debate to have, to be quite honest. I've been researching uh, exotic meats in general for the past two years, uh, but more importantly, exotic, uh, you know, lion meat. And, uh, you know, a couple places do sell it, a couple places, you know, restaurants actually have sold it, uh, which has led to a lot of, you know, various controversial things, you know, they, they put it out to sell, they had to take it off after, you know, negative criticism. One thing I'm not going to do, though, is go into the lengthy, uh, controversial discussion about lion meat, though, in general. That's not what this video is about. Today, right now, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be cooking and I'm going to be eating lion meat. That's what Dave Exotic Foods is about and that's what we're going to be doing. And perhaps later in the uh, comments below in the discussions on this page, on my YouTube page, we can talk about that. For now, let's cook some lion meat. All right, for those of you who want to see the lion meat in, uh, in its raw form, real close up, here's your chance, all right? This is a pound, like I said. I'm gonna break, uh, I'm gonna break enough off, probably half a pound, and we're gonna form that into a burger patty. And I thought I would, uh, cook a burger up, a lion burger. As for the rest of it, uh, you know, I'm not too sure. I might just, well, I'll just cook that up as well. And, you know, I might just eat some plain without anything, anything on it whatsoever. And we'll just see how it goes. All right, so here we go, folks. I am uh, just gonna get my hands here into the meat. Uh, this is, uh, this is very interesting. The meat, well, you know, it just kind of feels exactly how uh, beef would feel, actually. Okay, let's try and split this right down the middle. And I wanted to use my hands because, I mean, I just really wanted to get in there and kind of really experience the uh, the lion meat with my hands. This, uh, this seems good right here. Wow, look at that. It just feels really interesting. Okay, I'm just gonna try and uh, form this the best I can here. This isn't your typical burger I'm making. I mean, really, I don't, I don't have to do much to it, do I? Look at that. That seems pretty good. I just kind of have to form it up a little better. Give it some form here and there. I've been thinking about it. Maybe I will make a lion taco out of that meat, so I don't really have to form it into anything. Just have to, just have to cook it up. Good stuff. So that's looking really good, guys. Here is our half a pound of uh, lion meat. It's gonna be a lion burger. Good stuff. As for the rest, as you can see right here, I'll just get it out of the bag. You know what, maybe I'll just kind of form it into a kind of a burger as well here, you know? Slightly smaller, as you can see. Okay, guys, and there you have it. You have two lion burgers. I decided to uh, form two patties. It's just going to be easier to cook them that way. But I'm going to make a burger and perhaps a taco. That could be, uh, that could be really interesting. And uh, one is slightly larger than the other. And I thought it could be interesting to see how that could play a factor in the cooking process. Okay, so we're going to put these on the pan and we're going to cook them that way. This is going to be fun to watch and see how these lion burgers cook. Okay, the skillet's out and it's been preheated. I have the heat set to medium. Here are our two uh, lion patties right here, and we're going to apply them to the skillet, and we're going to cook these up. Okay, here we go. Good stuff. <laughs> the lion meat is ready to go, I tell you. Okay. All right. Lion meat on the pan, 
Let's get two hands on this now. So I'm gonna cook these up like, you know, any burger. I'm just gonna make sure that they're fully cooked, of course. But like I said, guys, just like any burger, this is how I'm cooking them. You know, no seasonings, no nothing. I want to experience what Lion Meats is all about. Here we go. Now look at that, I just flipped that. I just flipped that, barely any time's passed at all. Maybe I'll turn the heat down even a little more. You can see it taking form. I'm liking my big one right here, this big boy. Honestly, it really does look like you're just cooking your typical burger. Nothing too surprising is uh, happening to me right now. And let me tell you folks, Exotic Meat Market, where I purchase these burgers from, um, they have so many great, you know, different kinds of meats. Uh, many different exotic burgers I've cooked up. Just wanted to give you guys a quick close-up of the Lion Burgers currently cooking. Here's another close-up of our burgers, which are almost fully cooked now. And I might cut this up and break this down so we can make a, a lion taco out of it and have a little left over. Okay, folks, just wanted to give you another close-up shot of our uh, lion meat. Our lion burger is done and our lion taco meat is done as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dish it up and we're going to present it and we're going to try this and see how it goes. I can't wait. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Okay guys, as you can see, I have prepared my lion meat burger and my lion meat taco. I just uh, kept it really simple, put a little cheese and a little lettuce on my lion burger. And as for my lion taco here, you know, I just kept it simple again. And I put lettuce on underneath a little cheese and then of course the lion meat itself. So we're going to try these two and see how they go. Good stuff. I'm really looking forward to this. Okay, folks, here we go. We have our lion burger and our lion taco ready to go, and it looks great. Like I said, kept things simple. I didn't really use seasoning, you know, only a couple of things I put on the taco and the burger. And, you know, I think this is going to be great. I have waited about two years to try lion meat. It was actually lion meat that led me to Exotic Meat Market to begin with. Because of places like Exotic Meat Market, we can still find, you know, rare and exotic meats to, to sample and try. And, you know, for better or worse, you know, with positive criticism or negative criticism, it's there. And uh, here we go. Enough's enough. Let's get to it. Okay, I'm going to try the burger first. I'm just going to kind of put that there to the side. Okay, like I said, you know, just a plain old nice simple burger. Looking good. Okay, here we go. Let's try it. This is a lion burger. Okay. Mmm. I took a big old bite. Hmm. <laughs> you know what? That is good. That is really good. It um it kind of has a beef like flavor, but it's not beef. It's it's like beef, but not beef. You know, some people say, you know, certain game foods taste like you know it tastes like chicken. It tastes like beef. Anshu Patak would say lion tastes like lion, uh, snake tastes like snake, uh, alligator tastes like alligator, and so on and so on. And I remember I ordered yak meat from Exotic Meat Market, and that was kind of like beef too. Uh, only it was uh, a lot greasier. It was really kind of amazing how yak was like beef, but not beef. And uh, this is the same thing. I mean, it's uh, it's definitely a little chewy. Remember when I was breaking it up, when I was cooking it, and I was like poking at the meat a little bit, doing this, doing that, and you could tell like, wow, this is not coming apart like beef would. It's definitely tougher. Uh, yeah, it's, it's more gamey. It's more chewy, but not to like a problem kind of level, you know? And it... There's actually, it's not greasy, but there is like a little bit of grease, and I could kind of see that while I was cooking it. Here, I'm gonna try some more. Mmm. <laughs> it 
it's like a, you know what, it's like a burger. There's a couple of restaurants uh, across the country that have purchased some lion meat to try and do, you know, kind of a, an exotic uh, dining twist of their restaurants. You know, there was, there's been one in like Arizona, there's been one in Florida, that place, this place, that restaurant, this restaurant, and uh, it's not a bad idea. Like I said, uh, eat, the eating of lion meat can lead to some uh, bad publicity and uh, negative criticism, but there have been restaurants out there that have in fact purchased the same lion meat I am eating right now and have uh, sold it in their restaurant. This isn't being sold anywhere. This has come to my home and I am eating it. And I gotta tell you folks, it's rare, it's expensive, but is it worth it? Is, is, is it worth for me buying this lion meat? I would say definitely for, for a try to eat lion meat, I, I would say it's worth it. It's worth, uh, it's worth the price. Okay, we've tried the burger, now we're gonna try the taco. The burger was really good. If I can just kinda show you what it looks like on the uh, inside of a bite. You know, just chomping away. Very good, I am uh, extremely satisfied. So now I'm gonna try my lion taco. You know, got a little lettuce, got a little cheese. Here we go, let's try this here. Hmm. Once again, just took a huge bite of this thing. Really good. The, uh, the taco shell gives it a nice crunch, you know, it's a good taco. The cheese has indeed uh, melted a little bit, which is nice. I'll kind of show you that right there. Just want to show you, you can kind of see the, uh, the inside, just like the burger. It's really nice. There we go, good stuff. Mmm. Mm -hmm. So some people might be watching and thinking, you know, does that really taste good? Does that really taste, you know, is it like beef, but just a little different? And uh, everything I'm describing is, is the truth and, and just how I feel, you know, it's my opinion. It's kind of like a beefy flavor, but you can definitely tell that uh, there's something different about it, something, I wouldn't say unusual, something unique maybe. And uh, you know, a lot of game meats have kind of a, the same quality. Some can differ, you know, I've, like I've said, I was talking about the yak meat, and the first time I had that, you know, that was a new experience, you know, a little bit like beef, but there's kind of that little twist, you know, lion meat is kind of the same in a way. So, I mean, yeah, look at it right there. There it is. Good stuff. That is the lion meat. And what I just said, I believe to be true. You know, it's it's very nice. It's different. You know, it's a lot like the, you know, similar game meats I've had before. You know, uh, a lot of them have some similarities. Some differences, though, also. Mm. Mm. And it's really tasty. I'm pleasantly surprised. Honestly, I, uh, I didn't know what to expect. Of course, as many of these game meets go, the first time I try them is the first time I'm sitting in this chair talking to you guys. And uh, some have gone better than others. Uh, you can go through my videos and kind of see for yourselves. But as far as this right here, as far as our lion meat experiment goes, I'm surprised and pleasantly surprised at that. Uh, pretty tasty, and uh, well, you saw the lion meat, you saw it cooking. You can do a lot of different things with this. You know, I just pretty much did the basics. You know, you got your lion taco, you got your lion burger. Well, you could do a lot of other interesting things with the lion meat, and uh, I'll probably, I still have some left over that I didn't put into my taco, so I'm actually gonna just kind of pull out a piece here and try and pull out a a large piece so I can maybe show it to you. Yeah, here we go. Here's a little bit of the uh, lion burger I just pulled out. All right. And it has a nice, it has a nice clean meat taste. It really does. Good stuff, guys. Well, there you go. This has been a very successful uh, lion meat experiment, I think. Of course, if you look down in the description, 
I will supply a link to the Exotic Meat Market website where they do sell lion meat and a whole lot of other game meats. A lot of it is uh, real good stuff, guys. And also, I will supply the Facebook page to the Exotic Meat Market, you know, Facebook fan page. So you can check that out. Anju Patak's on there posting news as well as a lot of, uh, you know, coupon codes for discounts of the Exotic Meat products. So check that out. Go to the page, you know, drop a message, you know, let them, let them know I sent you even. This has been a long time coming and I'm so happy that I could finally try lion meat for myself. Really am. Good stuff, guys. Awesome. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't appreciate this video for a number of reasons, leave me a comment as to why, but I would ask you to keep it civil. All of you. All right, so like I said, guys, leave those comments. Don't forget to subscribe, and of course, check out my other exotic food videos. Good stuff. All right, I'm Dave for Dave's Exotic Foods. I'll see you guys. Mmm. Man, it's so good. Wish someone was here to share this.